Hey guys, Mysterious Man, back with another video. We're going to be doing the 10 worst video game systems of all time. Number 10 is the Game Boy. Uh, there's no excuse. Just look at the friggin' thing. It's, it's friggin' huge. Cell phones back in that day, like, back in the freaking 80s and 90s, they were huge. They were like friggin' bricks. The Game Boy came out after those, okay? And it was bigger. Okay? That, that's unacceptable. Uh, not to mention the thing had no games whatsoever. Okay? And the graphics were terrible. Lime green and black. And it, the, uh, the only reason the lime green color effect existed be, was because it was in the freaking background of the thing. Okay? So, there's only one color. There's only one real color that the thing is uh, projecting, so to speak, okay? Nintendo deceived you and tried to make you think that there was two colors. There was only one, and it was freaking black, okay? So that that's retarded. That's number 10. Number 9 is the Game Boy. First they were like, well, let's make it, let's take the original thing, and instead of making it vertical, make it, like, really stretched out. And then, let's turn it into a clam. And then, let's just make it really small for some reason. The, that's retarded, okay? You only need one, and you don't even need that one, because it's a piece of crap with no games, once again. So, that's number nine, the Game Boy friggin' Advance. Number eight is the friggin', uh... DS. <laughs> I, I, I didn't have the time to freaking go collect every single iteration of this system because there was about 27 of them. DS, DS Lite, DSi, who freaking knows what else. DS Fat, which I think was the original. People started calling it that once the light came out, which doesn't even make sense. But hey, that's freaking Nintendo fanboy logic for you, okay? That's what they do. They think they're cool. They call it the DS Fat with a PH, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, whatever. And, once again, a system with no games. And terrible graphics. So, okay. Number seven is the 3DS. What if we took the Game Boy again and made it really stretched out and flat again and put two freaking screens on it again, but this time... In 3D! Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's, it's a gay idea for gay people. Okay? Number six is the freaking Virtual Boy. <laughs> Just look at it. What, it was like, what if we took the 3D from the 3DS and just made it on an, uh, a freaking stand and made you have to put your freaking face inside of it and what if we toned the 3d down a little bit and had even less games what uh, well uh, I i'm stunned at their logic okay that is their logic behind making these systems to have less games and less fun that's their logic and <laughs> you freaking retards buy it you buy things like this Number five is the freaking Wii. What if we could do all that stuff from before, but now we can also flail our arms around? Wouldn't that be cool? No. No, it wouldn't. Number four is something that disappeared. Oh, okay. Number four is the GameCube. I don't know why it disappeared like that. Probably because it might as well just freaking disappear from existence. And it didn't have any games, so it didn't contribute anything. Nobody would miss it if it disappeared, okay? The graphics were terrible. They were not better than PS2 graphics, contrary to popular Nintendo fan drone belief. Uh, people always say, oh, it has a better processor, it has, it has a better graphical unit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Play freaking GTA on PS2, and then play like. Super Monkey Ball on the GameCube. If you try to tell me Super Monkey Ball is more realistic, I will come out of your monitor and punch you in the freaking balls, okay? 
Number three, yeah, number three is the Nintendo 64. This is when Nintendo and Sony started competing. That's why I hate the Nintendo 64. You know, uh, freaking Nintendo has nothing on Sony. So why'd they even make this system? When Sony released the PS1, they should have just said, okay, we're done. You've won. You're clearly better than us. We suck at life. We're going to stop making games now. Even though we basically don't make any games anyway. We just make a bunch of Mario and Zelda rehashes. So, that's number three. Number two is the Super Nintendo. I It offends me, okay, that, okay, the U.S. version is on the left. Freaking gray and purple. Cool, huh? No, exactly. And then the European version on the right is all colorful. That, that's ridiculous. Like, they're trying to imply that, like, they deserve better or something. They have less money to begin with. The, people don't call them Euro peons and Euro poors for no reason, okay? They're poor. Give us the cool stuff. We're in, the, we're in America, okay? Land of the free. We're not poor like freaking Euro peons. So, give us the cool stuff. And not that the Super Nintendo was cool anyway. It didn't have any games. The thing was a piece of crap. But it's just the idea behind it. So, whatever. Let's move on. Number one. The worst video game system of all time is the NES. Because all the freaking nostalgia fags love it and praise it as though it's the greatest thing ever. I always hear, oh, the NES saved the gaming industry. Without Nintendo, there would be no Sony in the gaming industry. That's a lie. Sony is better the Nintendo, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.